Hello, we are live for uh, <laughs> grooming, grooming with scissors today. This is Marvin. I'm glad that you're back with us. So today we're going to be doing the face. We're going to be shaping the face. Um, as we shape the face, there are different parts of the face, and we're dividing it up to make sure that we have enough uh, footage to be able to cover several different videos and not make them as long as they were last time. No, no, no. So. As we're gonna do this, we're gonna just do shaping of the face today. We're gonna shape around the face here. And then this on the top, when you push it down and we cut here, this is their visor. We're not doing the visor today. We'll do the visor on Monday. And um, we'll be doing shaping of the ears and cleaning of the ears separate as well. So let's go ahead and get started. Now I did wanna show you the different um, scissors that you do have available to you. Uh, you can always buy, uh, a kit online and the kits have various scissors they have the these ones that are the thinning shears and then they'll have a straight edged kind like this okay so they might come with a variety pack they might have a rounded set in there as well um, and you can get a, 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 a low price set for uh, not too expensive um, but those low price sets don't last you as long. So that's why we try to recommend, I'm trying to get you stuff that's not going to at least get you through this time. I mean, I understand that this is not something you may be doing. So uh, if you wanted to buy a kit, you can get a kit of a variety of scissors. Um, you definitely want the thinning shears and you definitely want a rounded set. Now, if you want to just buy a rounded set, a rounded set would probably a good uh, pair this one's on Amazon would get you it'd be about $20 um, and you can see that these are rounded but they are not thinning shears now a set of rounded thinning shears which will make the hair look more um, it won't look so the cut won't look so straight it'll look a little bit more natural leave it um, these ones run a little bit more expensive they were about $70 but these are pretty much the only set of scissors you're gonna need so that's why they're a little bit more expensive so we, I'm gonna start with these, and these are the $20 pair, and you can see the difference. We'll do it on one side, and then we'll do it on the other side with these, and you can see the difference between the two. Because though both of them are really good, you can tell the difference between the cut on the one without the thinning part on them, and the one that does have the thinning part. So we're gonna go ahead and try that. I'm gonna try it on one side right now. Now before we get started, we definitely want to, um, brush through make sure we don't have any matting so we want to make sure that that's all taken care of and I see that there's people watching so if you guys wanted to add in any questions feel free um, always 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 there is matting right here behind his ear and that's usually the place that they have the most matting so you do want to make sure before you get started that you take care of those mats before um, it just makes your cut so much easier okay so I'm just getting so I have a a surface that I can go through easily okay and as we already did in our previous video he's already had his body uh, cut down so this is just for his face and then we're gonna be doing feet and ears and fanny all on different days okay so we're gonna split it up all right so this side I'm gonna be using the thinning shears or the the rounded the rounded scissors okay and again this is really important because as they are rounded you have less of a chance of cutting your dog as opposed to working with scissors that are just straight. Uh, the straight handle, the straight edge scissors are really, you you have you stand a real high chance of cutting your dog. Um, and you stand a real high chance of cutting your dog if the dog is not tethered. It's super important to have your dog tethered. So as you can see, there's already a rounded, um, for our dog, we already have it rounded because he's just been groomed uh, within the last month. Now your dog may not be ground, uh, groomed and have that rounded already there but as you comb it through you'll see a natural shape to their face and that's what we're trying to do go along the natural shape of their face just to make it rounded as you can see with the rounded scissors the cut naturally goes rounded you can see how easy that is to um, just find and continue and you see that the dog already doesn't want to sit still and and why tethering is so important um, you don't want to cut the dog. You don't want to cut yourself. So it just makes it easier for everybody if um, you're able to have the dog tethered. It's safer for everybody. Okay, so you can see the difference between the two sides. So this is the side we've done rounded. And this is the side we haven't done yet, okay? So now I'm going to try and take my, um, 
my rounded shears. And now I'm going to cut this side. And we're going to see if we can see the difference, okay? And as we're cutting through, again, you're just wanting to go with the natural curvature of the face. And this might be a little easier for this dog because we've already got a curvature on the face. But um, if your dog doesn't, as you, as you brush it through, you'll be able to see that curvature on the face. Now, this side we've done, and it's um, with the rounded side, and the thinning shears. So as you can see, this side looks a lot more softer. This side, you can see the jagged cut. Now, either way, you may not care. I mean, it's it, you're just getting it done for at home, and that might be fine for you either way. So the more expensive set of scissors might not be something you would need at this time. Um, but these are Griselda's, the shop owner, and she, I, I use them all the time now because it really is the best set. Um, I prefer the way the cut looks. Um, the other set, are these are mine, and this is what I was using prior to. Um, Let's try it here on the mustache, and I think you might even be able to see it even better. When you're trying to cut here, you're going to want to hold the dog from the bottom of their face. Um, it's a natural hold right here. It's not hurting the dog. It's securing their head so that you don't end up hurting the dog, okay? So I'm going to cut right in here, and I'm just going to keep, again, rounded, okay? And as I round... You can see the cut. Do you see where it's actually cut rounded, okay? Now let's try the other side and see if you can see the difference, okay? I'm gonna brush it through, comb it through just to make sure I have a straight cut right there. Okay, so let's try it with these and see if you can see the difference. And if you need to, make sure that you have the, nope, make sure that you have the hairs pulled up, leave it, so that you're able to get it more straight. Okay, so as I cut down this side, now you see it lays down a little bit better, and you see this side, you can still see the jagged cut. Now, for you, being that you're not a groomer, and this is just to get you tied over, um, either one is probably fine for you. If your dog isn't stinky, and it has no mats, and uh, you're able to get it done so you can make it work, then, you know, then either way is probably fine for you. You don't have to get the expensive set of scissors. These are the expensive set, and the other set that did just as good. The only difference is you're going to see the more jagged cut using the scissors that are not thinning shears, okay? Good morning, Mandy. Glad that you're here. So this is the ones that are rounded. Again, so I just did it. I'm going to cut down one more time. So I just did it, and we rounded with these that are thinning shears and rounded. These are more expensive, again, like I said, but the cut... You, you're going to end up with a much better cut and always rounded because you just don't stand the chance of uh, cutting the dog if the scissors are rounded. Now, these are the rounded ones without the thinning shears. Do you want to see the difference? Let's see. So as I'm cutting, see, the only difference is now you can actually see where I'm making those cuts, okay? So... We want to make sure that you're able to, whichever you are able to afford, whatever works out best for you. Again, rounded thinning shears are much more expensive. Rounded curved scissors are less expensive. These are about 20 bucks, but they're so important. Now, when you buy a kit, you will get a set of thinning shears, but as you can see, they are not rounded. Um, and they did have a pair of rounded scissors. But they weren't long like this. And with this longer blade, it gives you a more uh, rounded cut as opposed to a shorter blade that you're going to have to be cutting a lot more. And being that cutting may not be your forte, that might not be the best thing for you at this time. So those are the ones we recommend, especially if you're just trying to get through till this time. So that's the rounding of the face. I'm just going to leave him uh, where he's at right here because I just wanted to be able to have you guys see the difference. Um... I did want to show you his eyes. So as you can see, he does have this, um, the goobers in his eyes. And those come just, you know, all some dogs uh, do cry more than others. And those goobers are uh, there. So we want to get them out. And you can do this daily. It's not something that you have to wait for them to go to the groomers with. These are just uh, flushable wipes. These are baby wipes. These are baby wipes. 
fragrance free. Um, we are just wiping down that area that's all brown. You could do this daily. You can buy the dog wipes. Yes, you can. Um, with as many as we go through at the shop, that's not something feasible for us. And again, I think I talked about this in one of our other videos. To cut down on the dander and dirt going into your house, I would wipe down my pet every time they come in. Every time they come in the house, um, I would wipe down their paws. I would wipe down their uh, their body to the best of my ability. And, so, and then their sanitary area, just to make sure that that's clean as well. Because otherwise, you know, they're just dragging that stuff all over the house. We wash our hands, yet we let our dog out and bring in all the dander and allergy and pollen from outside. So at this time that we're all stuck in the house and everybody is in this one area, to cut down on dander and uh, dirt in your house, you might want to try wiping down the dog. That's, that's a big one. Okay, so right now I just cleaned that out so I have a clean surface. I do want to try and touch on his eyes. Um, and a lot of people, that's really frightening. You know, they don't want to, they don't want to cut the dog or anything. This is just a soft brush. This is the one I use for my clippers. I just want those hairs to be dry and standing up. Okay. So now you can see that the, the hairs are dry. They're standing up. All right. And now I'm going to take these rounding scissors and I'm not going to take the thinny ones because you probably aren't going to buy those. You can just put it right along the bridge of his nose. Do you see that? Yep. And I would just cut right like that, right along the bridge of his nose. So you're getting those hairs that are getting all brown and cut in, and you're able to clean them out, okay? You see that? So just make sure that they're standing up so you can get a clean cut. And then you can cut those out right around his eyes, okay? Now, obviously, he's got some browning on his face, and um, we can definitely cut that down a little bit. For you, you probably won't want to get that close and cut that much of his face off because that is a lot of uh, the face to cut down. Um, but as you use those thinning sh rounded shears, you'll see that that cut is real easy. It comes real natural. It's not something that's difficult. But if I were to just use the rounding shears, um, if I just were to use these, you wouldn't get as even a cut. So... And I'm just touching on the very outside ones. Now, these ones that are going in his mouth, this is what's causing some of that bad breath. And uh, as much of that as that you can get down as possible, we'll cut down on that bad breath that you're having in the house. So again, we're just wanting to try and get those to stand out and up so we can cut them down. And if, as you can see, he's not thrilled with this whole process, but that's okay because he is secured to the table. And I'm able to do it quickly because I have him secured to the table. So that's why the securing of the table is so important. Okay. And you're just cutting the very outer edges, just like if you were to be trimming your ends. Okay. The least you cut, the better. And unless you're, want, unless you're super matted and you're just wanting to maintain, then that's a whole different video. And we could completely shave down the dog if needed. But, you know, we don't really, if you don't need to shave down the dog, it's, you stand a better chance of not cutting your dog if you don't need to shave it completely down. So, you can see there is still some right here by his eyes. I am going to take those with my uh, rounded thinning shears. Nope. And we'll try and round out this side. And again, don't, don't be... So concerned if you can't get it completely round, but you might be surprised at how round it will get using these rounded shears. I mean, it's it's just amazing how much more easier it makes it for everybody. So we're just going to go ahead and finish it up around. And like I said, we're not doing the entire face today. I'm going to do the visor on Monday, which is this part. Um, I'm going to show you how to do the visor. And we're going to cut that to make that even. So we'll do visors on Monday. And on Wednesday, we'll be doing um, some different cuts as well. I think I do the ears. We're going to be doing uh, feet separately. And uh, sanitary glands in the back, we'll be doing that uh, so you can take care of all of those. But we're going to split them up into different videos. So I hope this helped. Thank you so much for joining in. Please like and share. Look how happy he is. And again, this is Marvin. He is one of our candidates. We've done... Uh, <laughs> I know, his face looks the same, I understand. <laughs> uh, he's one of our candidates that we've done the 
board and train for and he is up for adoption so we're looking for a good home for marvin as well so if you know of anybody that is uh looking for a, a good dog we have one here and all of our dogs that we train come with training for the life of the dog so again he's got a great personality and uh, we look forward to being able to see you guys on monday thanks so much